intense. Uh, the first things you'll do is you'll loosen up these two top pins right here um, and you take off this main shaft then you'll go and I'd probably start with taking off the body which the body has two screws on on either side and then this will slide out the LED here is a little bit stuck you can push that and it'll it'll pop the main body off um, and then once you get down that after you've done that you can take off I mean if you want a flat working surface it might be okay to just pop off the two these are four screws to take off the landing gear and once you've done that you get down to something that looks a little bit like this ignore that see if, if I'm missing some stuff but this this is kinda how it'll look after you pop the top off and you've taken the landing gear off and you've and you probably want to leave on the support screws well actually you gotta take those off <coughs> alright so now that, now you're down to something more just like this you'll see what you've got is you've got uh, this this main piece here um, you've got a little bit of a loose pieces here um, the to get down into this gear area the next thing to do is you start taking off these main support sides you'll see here you've got screw here notice I'm working on a, on a cloth uh, tape, it's a, this is a bedspread or this is a sheet I'm working on you know cloth material the screws when they fall if you're on a hard surface I found that the screws can bounce all over the place and you get where they're falling in the carpet and they just they're easier to lose so I, I'm working on something with a softer surface so I'd have better luck with that now the body the body screws are all the same size but you'll want to make sure and keep track if you if you're taking apart these propellers the propellers have a different length screw the screw right here on this uh, propeller uh, retention clip these two screws are a little longer than these these other screws that you'll be pulling out so that's where I take the scotch tape and I keep some of my stuff separate you know now that um, let me go ahead and set this down I get some of these pieces that are starting to come apart so you'll see once you get that last screw this doesn't quite come out all the way there's still some wires holding it together but it lets you at least get at the gears I'm gonna go ahead and set this down just like so and here's kinda what I was talking about with the scotch tape I don't, I don't really know what everybody does that's what I've been doing I just keep that thing kinda clumped together that's that's my uh, main body screws there's also these white these nice little white uh, spacers sometimes they stay on sometimes they come off okay the, the next thing you'll see once you've got a little more access in here um, you got you could work this battery loose and kinda get it out of the way this isn't exactly a stock helicopter I've added a bigger battery to it so just ignore the battery there um, really fine wires in here you gotta be kinda careful not to pull anything loose off the PCB or this, this uh, down here you can see here just some pieces to be aware of this is the infrared sensor it's what uh, the remote control talks do I'm pretty sure that's your gyro right there this might be the gyro Anyways, and that's the uh, microcontroller. Back to in a okay. So uh, now you see here what we've got is we've got some gears down here. Now all these gears sometimes they tend to strip, uh, and, and they can be hard to get in and out. Where, where I'd probably start with would be this freak. So the next, the next thing I'd start with is um, we can take off some of this, uh, this metal body, and um, we've got here. This is a, this piece is what holds the, um, the plastic canopy of the helicopter in place. Then uh, one little fine screw here. On the other side, got one more here. So now we're down to just. Um, Got these two little tabs that sometimes are a little tight. They hold the engines in place. Got this one here. Now I got these screws. This is, we'll call these the inner body, inner body screws. Spacers. You got stand here. 
So what you'll find next, um, depending on if you strip some some gears, you can uh, start to get now that you've got these taken apart, you can start to, to, to get some of these gears out. Um, the gears are kind of tricky. I probably got to warn you about the gears. Um, if you look at this is a new replacement piece. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see here on the end. There's some threads, not threads. They're uh, pieces of metal, just uh, grooves, grooves cut into the bottom, and that's really all it is that holds these gears tight. Is little grooves in in these posts, so uh, you can't do this very many times before you start to wear out the uh, plastic on on these grooves, and then the gears don't stay very solid. Um, this center piece here can be slid out, and this is a um, you can see this upper piece isn't. Gonna, we're going to leave it as is. So this is the main rotator shaft. If we were placing this, we would take and we would pull the gear off the bottom and put it back onto here. And you'd see that you wouldn't have many. You have a little bit of a space here at the bottom. And this is the, like a socket that uh, this this little protruding piece fits into a little piece down here in the center. There's one thing in here that can come out. You got to watch out. There's a bearing up inside of here. Um, the next, the next thing to pull out would be, if you're trying to get at these gears, um, if you're if you're just replacing the center, the main rotor shaft, then you're you could be done, unless this is bent. And then if this is bent, you need. I think it's called the. I don't, there's names for all this, but it's the lower. If you've bent some of this, you need a lower one of these. Uh, I'll call it the lower retention lower blade retention shaft and it it goes right here but um, to get these these gears out you can see there's two two gears now two gears sitting above everything else um, and to get these it's a little tricky let me just show you how I do it I mean you, this this is the hardest part and these these require quite a bit of force to get these out um, what I do is I take the needle with pliers and I grab just the bottom of this gear and I twist a little twist like this and then I start pulling harder and harder I mean it's it's really hard to get these gears and then I mean see I'm, I'm pulling really hard and the thing's not coming you can see the key is the twisting the twisting the twisting motion loosens that thing out. And you can see it's starting to come now. It's starting to get out. So now we've we've taken out one of the two gears and then you proceed by taking out the other gears here. Just like so. All right.